through two generations. The Buick LaCrosse is barely registered on the car and driver radar screen. It's been an underwhelming car in a segment made up of spacious, some ambulant entry-level luxury products such as the restrained Toyota Avalon and the forgettable Hyundai Azura. The LaCrosse, like its rivals, has delivered essentially zero driving enjoyment for enthusiasts like us. We're hopeful, however, that the new for 2017 LaCrosse will change that. General Motors claims to have put the LaCrosse through the same type of weight loss regimen as the Cadillac CTS and the Chevrolet Camaro. Ten best cars awardees that are spectacular to drive. Another new grand product that recently lost a lot of weight is the new Chevy Malibu. The LaCrosse uses a longer wheelbase version of the Malibu's Epsilon II platform. The engineering team claims that this LaCrosse is nearly 300 pounds lighter than the outgoing car. Fully half of that weight drop comes from a lighter steel structure. Just as encouragingly, the LaCrosse uses GM's new 3,649cc V6, which also appears in the CTS and the Camaro, among other applications. For LaCrosse duty, the engine will produce about 305 horsepower and 268 pounds feet of toward final numbers aren't yet blessed by the SA. That's just barely more than what the old 3.6 liter V6 in the previous lacrosse mustard, but this V6 will have less weight to contend with. It also pairs with a new 8-speed automatic controlled by a funky new by wire setup called Electronic Precision Shift and comes standard with Auto Stop Start. All of that should aid the cause of fuel economy. Although EPA figures are not yet available. Easy now. Bullock probably could have gotten away with a more half hearted redesign. Despite receiving few significant updates, the Lacrosse has moved 600,000 copies in the U.S. over the past decade and more than 900,000 worldwide since 2009, thanks to China. So for the lacrosse of the 2017 redo, Buick decided to keep the exterior recognizable as both a Buick and a lacrosse, even though the model is all new. Behold the new face of Buick, heavily influenced by the widely admired Avenir concept. The conservatively attractive 2017 lacrosse, although certainly not the looker that the Avenir is, signifies a nice, if subtle, shift in the brand's design direction. The grille has less chrome than current Buicks, but fans of shiny objects needn't worry because there are still plenty of mirror-like surfaces dressing up this car's exterior. The tri-shield badges on the grille and the decklet have been colorized with the red, white, and blue shading of yours. Fortunately, Buick has downplayed some of its more questionable trademark styling cues. The fender vent ports are much less prominent, while the body side sweep spear is more cohesive. The 2017 Bacross of Shadow is almost identical to that of the outgoing model that gains 0.6 inch in length and 0.1 inch in width but is lower by 1.6 inches. The wheelbase increases by nearly 3 inches, though, improving the car's proportions and helping to free up a few more cubic feet of passenger volume slide inside. The lacrosse of the interior is the site of the most dramatic and important, as far as buyers are likely concerned rejuvenation. Many model take two or three generations to improve their interiors as much as the lacrosse just has. Admittedly, 
the old lacrosse left open a lot of room for improvement. Nonetheless, the newest Buick will stack up well against the likes of Lexus and Infiniti, instead of being barely even with Hyundai's pricier offerings. Sitting inside of the lacrosse now feels like an almost Cadillac experience rather than a barely Chevrolet one. Soft touch materials and power points for electronic gizmos abound. An 8.0 inch touch screen takes center stage on the dashboard, but there are actual knobs for controlling volume and temperature and real buttons for other climate control functions. Available luxury features include heated and ventilated front seats with massage, the heated steering wheel with power adjustment, the powered rear sunshade, dual zone automatic climate control, and a premium Bose stereo. Buick executives see interior quietness as a competitive advantage. So, the ambitiously named Buick Quiet Churning Team took special care in keeping the interior hushed. Active noise cancellation, acoustic fender lighters, triple sealed doors, and laminated windshield and front door glass are all utilized. Chief Engineer Jeff Jensen says the team concerned themselves with the way all kinds of customer-activated things sound, from the windshield wipers to the fuel door to the shifter to the powered windows. Under the skin, Buick engineers acknowledge that their customers are biased toward ride quality but they've made efforts to produce a car that has decent handling characteristics, too. To that end, the front-wheel drive lacrosse with 20-inch wheels 18s are standard as GM's hyper-struck front suspension with continuous damping control that can adjust the dampers every 2 milliseconds. All-wheel drive model don't get the hyper-struck setup or the big wheels but they do get the same twin clutch AWD system that's installed in the super sporty Ford Focus Rs. Obviously the Buick won't be tuned to behave like that rally rocket, but it should be quite capable in nasty weather. Other vehicles that use the same GKA and supplied AWD hardware, which Anson describes as anticipatory not reactionary, include the Range Rover Evoque, the Link NMKZ, and the Cadillac XB5. High technology appears in other places, as well. The new LaCrosse will be available with all the Ocaran driver assistance features, such as automatic park assist for parallel and perpendicular spots adaptive cruise control. Forward collision alert with pedestrian detection, as well as lane departure warning and lane keeping assist. In addition to 4G LTE WIFI capability, Buick's Intelli Link system will offer Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring. We usually find cars in this segment to be pretty uninspiring. Our hopes. However, for the Buick LaCrosse, which goes on sale early next summer, are cautiously high.